Today we're going to talk about the difference between pride and the need for validation. Is there a difference? Is one bad? Is one good? Is there good pride? How do we understand this? Very important question. I want to define validation as the need to know that what I'm doing is contributing something to the benefit of others, to my own benefit, or in some way is beneficial. If a person loses complete validation, they don't want to live. They don't want to get out of bed. What's the use? I'm not needed. I'm not contributing. No one would care if I die. People who are suicidal will say, if I die, no one will care. And we see that Prabhupada was the ultimate validator. And if you read his letters, you'll see so often when it was reported to him what a devotee was doing, he would say, I'm so pleased that you're doing this. This pleases me very much. Please continue in this way. This gives me great pleasure, etc. It was validation that what you were doing is valuable. Sometimes Prabhupada would say, your service in the Gurukul is the most important. Your service in the scientific preaching is most important. Your service of book distribution is most important. Your service of college preaching is most important. Tremendous validation to inspire the devotees that what they're doing has value. Now, this didn't cause devotees to become proud. It caused the devotees to feel that what I'm doing is worthwhile. It's pleasing my spiritual master and I should continue doing it. Pride is a different thing. Pride as we understand it in the materialistic sense, the, the sense of an anartha. That it's not that I want validation so that I can continue my service, but I want recognition. I want to be seen or I want to feel myself as better than others. I want the gratification of feeling proud. This is different than validation. It's a form of ego gratification. It's a form of sense gratification where validation is a form of service. I just want to know that what I'm doing is pleasing to my authorities, to my mentors, to my six-year gurus, to my guru, to Srila Prabhupada. That's all. I don't, I don't want to be praised for it. I don't need that. It's not for my ego. It's just to know that I'm doing the right thing. Pride is ego-based. And from pride comes criticism. From pride often comes the, the kind of arrogance where we feel entitled to mistreat other people. We feel entitled to be prejudiced. Now, is there good pride? Prabhupada said, yes, I'm proud to be a devotee. I'm proud to be part of ISKCON. I'm proud to have such an amazing spiritual master. But that's not ego gratification pride. It's appreciation pride. I'm, I feel fortunate that I am in the assembly of such advanced devotees. So validation, sometimes we may think, well, maybe it's material because I want to be appreciated. But it's a human need to know, to need to know, it's a human need to need to know that my work, my service, my existence is valuable. So as long as that doesn't affect our pride and ego, it's not as long as, long as it's not based around puffing myself up, becoming arrogant, dominant, etc., then it's a normal human need which can be used in a Krishna conscious way. The last thing I want to say is that anything good can be used in a bad way. Anything bad can be used in a good way. So sometimes when we're discussing is pride good or bad, is validation good or bad, etc., that ultimately it comes down to, well, how are you using it? What's the result of it? And what consciousness are you in when you're using it? The good can become bad, the bad become good, can become good. So there's healthy ways to be validated. I serve my spiritual master I, or authority, my, uh, my mentor, etc. And I just want recognition, not recognition, validation. Is this what you wanted me to do? Is this right? Is this pleasing to you? That's it. That's just for service. That's the only reason. Not to be praised, not to be honored, not to be said that you're better than others. Simply to understand that I'm doing the right service and I can continue in that, in that way. So that, that kind of validation is very healthy. 
I want, I may want validation because I have very low self-esteem and I'm, I'm very needy to get it just to come to a point of normalcy. And that kind of validation is not, is not healthy. Uh, it's just a manifestation of an unhealthy psychology. So that's different. That kind of validation we don't want. That kind of validation we need to give ourselves. We need to understand our own worthiness rather than beg people to tell us. That's different. Hare Krishna. Srila Prabhupada Ki Jai.